Hey YouTube, Jeff checking in. Hope you're all well. Today I wanted to do a quick video about um, my best selling images on Microstock uh, over the years. I'm going to show you those images. I'm going to give you a little sense of how well they've sold over time um, so you can see what is working for me. Uh, but I also wanted to kind of position it within a broader context and that is that Often it is a very small percentage of our portfolio that's making a, a big chunk of the money. Uh, and so what that means is, is that um, there will be times uh, where you get images that sell really well. And it's not always necessarily clear uh, what's going on, how it got caught up, um, whether someone just bought it right away and it hit into the algorithm in the, in the right fashion. Um, anyway. Don't want to spend too much time on that. Uh, what I wanted to show you were some of the images that I've done well with, and uh, let's, so let's, let's get going on that right now. So the first image I wanted to show you is a, a modern house here in Calgary. This has been one of my best-selling images on uh, Shutterstock, for example. It sold 1,601 times, and that's earned me $1,297. So I'm almost at 1,300, uh, dollars and it still sells uh, every month. It's always one of my best sellers. Funny enough, it hasn't really caught on on some of the other stock sites. So it is a real uh, Shutterstock uh, success story for me. Um, not necessarily blowing out the doors on iStock or Adobe stock, for example. And you'll see that when I go through these images, some of them actually do well on all the sites. Some just hit it on one alone. Uh, the next shot I wanted to show you was of the Calgary skyline at night. Uh, typical sort of skyline image. I took this here in Calgary. It's just overlooking the Bow River downtown. Uh, nothing uh, too spectacular, but it has been a big seller on iStock, uh, Shutterstock, and Adobe Stock. And on Adobe and Shutterstock, it's my top image by numbers. So three sites, it's done well on each of those sites. I actually took it another one on the same night and it also performed really well. So I think on that night, um, I'm probably up around $3,000 just for that one photo shoot. So it's obviously done really well. This next image that I want to show you, it's coin operated binoculars. I took this shot in San Francisco and this is actually uh, at a viewing platform that's right um, sort of at the foot or at the well, one end of the Golden Gate Bridge, and I actually took it uh, facing back towards San Francisco. And I did a really kind of a weird processing of this one. I kind of just to make it a little bit less um, site specific so that, you know, you could see something in the distance, but maybe uh, you're not sure what, a, what it is. So not clearly San Francisco. And so that's basically um, the approach that I took when I, when I processed that image. And it made sense because I had focused on the binoculars anyway, and the background scene was way blown out as far as focus goes. So I tried to work uh, the processing to sort of fit that um, level of focus. And it's just sold all the time really well for me on, on a number of sites. It's sold great on Shutterstock, sold great on iStock, and also on Adobe Stock, as well as my other, other sites. So that's the third image that I want to show you. This next image that I wanted to show you is a, also an image that's done well on multiple sites. These are surfboards at um, sort of at sunset, uh, Waikiki. Uh, there was a nice little surf, surf rental shop there uh, and they had all their boards kind of lined up like that with the palm trees and the ocean in the distance. And it just looked like a perfect little scene. And so when I shot it, I left a little bit of copy space on the on the right hand side of the image. So you had surfboards on the two thirds, um, one third mostly empty with the sunset to give it a little, little bit of uh, area for uh, designers to work with. And it's been one of my better selling images uh, that I took in Waikiki or on the Hawaiian Islands generally. Um, I've got um, sold 118 times on uh, Adobe and uh, 286 on Shutterstock and it's sold on the other sites as well. And I also uh, made another uh, version of this exact same image where I changed the colors to give it a more of a, um, um, 
sort of a cinematic feel and that one sold also almost as well and so the same image um, treated in two different ways in post-processing I'm probably up around a thousand sales for that that shot so it's done really well for me as well uh, this next shot that I want to show you this is kind of an interesting one and it's not as viral as my other ones or it hasn't made as much money as my other ones um, but it sold well on both Adobe uh, it's sold on Shutterstock, it sells on iStock, and it sells on Dreamstime. And it's Dolly the Sheep from the uh, museum in Edinburgh. I think it's called the Scottish National Museum. Um, I might be wrong there. Um, but as far, as far as travel images go, uh, this one, I wasn't really thinking about anything here. I just, we saw Dolly the Sheep and I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. So I took a picture of it uh, more as a, probably a family uh, kind of vacation photo. And I uploaded that and yeah, it's done really well. For example, on Shutterstock, I've sold 154 times. Uh, and so I'm probably getting um, closer to um, um, probably 400 sales on this one over the various sites. So, you know, that really adds up after a while. The next image I want to show you, this is a shot of a golf course in uh, Palm Desert. And you see the mountains in the background. Um, my wife was at a conference in Palm at Palm Desert, and we were staring at the we were staying at the Marriott. And uh, the shot is just from my balcony. So I got up early while they were all sleeping one day. I took a number of uh, photographs uh, just from the balcony uh, at sort of in the morning, uh, sunrise, and then a little bit later, and um, took some made some panos. Did some other stuff. Just then, I walked down to the golf course, took a bunch of other shots. All in all, I probably took about twenty to thirty shots that morning, uh, and they've all sold really well. I'm sort of expect uh, sort of roughly in the two thousand to three thousand dollar range. Um, this this specific image uh, has sold one hundred and seventy nine times on Adobe so far, and one hundred and twenty five times on Shutterstock. So. Uh, it's an image that's really done well. Golfing is a great uh, area to focus on. Um, it's uh, it's a tourist destination. It's a sport. It's something that uh, is sold to wealthy travelers. So golf is a is a good area to focus on. I find uh, this next shot. Uh, these this is a just a desaturated image of the top of some columns. This is actually taken at the uh, Legion of Honor in San Francisco. Uh, and since I posted it, I was sort of feeling like it was a sort of a, something that would talk about uh, or work for a legal or a law related uh, buyer, um, something like that, maybe just a plain background type image. But I uploaded that to iStock in 2014, and since 2014, it's always been my top selling image um, per month on iStock. So uh, I don't think it's ever sold less than 10, 10 images in a month on iStock. Uh, and it just, it just got picked up and it just went. And it doesn't really sell on the other sites. It, it has sold, um, but it's there's nothing remarkable about it on any of the other sites. It just, for whatever reason, it got it got picked up on on iStock, it ran, and it's never stopped running. So uh, it's always great to get one of those runners. Okay, this last photo that I want to show you is a panorama of Edinburgh Castle. I took this on a recent trip there. Uh, as a, It's a plain sort of um, blue sky day, uh, nice weather, green, uh, leaves on the trees and I think it just um, there were not that many good uh, panoramics of the uh, castle on on the websites and so uh, it's done really well since then and one of the things that I always recommend for Microstock is when you're photographing something it's a really good idea to take both uh, a, a normal 2 by 3 or 4 by 3 whatever you're working with a normal photograph but then also to sort of zoom in and uh, take a panoramic image so this is more zoomed in uh, it's got it's I think it's a three image panorama it's got a lot of detail it's a big file so it really works for uh, a lot of different customers 
whenever you're at a site doing traveling and you think you can get a panorama in addition to the just straight on photo that you normally would have took, always try to get a panorama as well. And don't worry if there are people in the image because the, the processing engines now, they stitch those images together fantastically. So it's, it's no big deal. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful and um, hopefully you get a few images that just take right off as well. And we'll see you on the next one. All right, cheers.